Alright, hello guys, and welcome back to another video. Let's set it today. We, we, we're not gonna sit out in the dark like this <laughs> when we have this new amazing skin. Let's walk up to this pillar. Alright, so this is what I will be creating today. It looks quite, quite sick. I am using the new uh, transparent skin feature implemented to Minecraft version 15W47C. So you just want to make sure of that. If you, if you want to have a transparent skin and you want to be on public servers, not going to work if you're still in 1.8. But if 1.9 is released by this time, it will work. And also, it will work in any snapshot above 15W47C. So just make sure of that, and then, yeah, you're good to go. Or you could even create a skin that, that you keep ready for 1.9. So you'll be like, hey guys, day of the release, and I already have the, the freaking 3D skins. Get rigged, you know? <laughs> you know, if you want to do something like that, I am being stalked by spiders. So this is what I'll be creating today. Uh, what you're currently seeing in front of you, uh, this is um, a skin that I found and I kind of made it cooler by adding the second layer to the face, which made it a lot more creepy. And I like it. Uh, so, uh, another detail, I'll be using paint.net for this uh, tutorial. Uh, if you are a Photoshop user or you prefer Photoshop above anything in life, then you can use that. Uh, just sort of get the basics from me and then, you know, everything doable in paint.net is doable in Photoshop. So, you'll have no problems on that front. But without further ado, <laughs> I struggled there. Uh, without further ado, let's get to the video. Alright guys, uh, so we are back. Uh, we have our paint open here. I'm actually going to do this again. I'm going to cancel this out. No, I'm not. Uh, we're going to do a new a new profile or a new file. Uh, doesn't matter what size it is. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do open. And I'm going to find the skin that I've downloaded. So in my case, uh, it's called Ghost Face. And I save it on my desktop. So uh, you just want to click on it, get it into your paint.net software. And... Um, you should be good to go. So once you're in here, uh, you want to go up to this sort of uh, this tool manager thingy, whatever it is, and you want to click on the zoom tool, or you could press Z, and uh, you know get good zoomed into your picture uh, so you can see all of it and and you know see what's up. Uh, so once you have your picture here, uh, I quickly want to explain though. As you can see, there are these squares around. Uh, this is the reason that I'm not using paint, the default paint on. Uh, on Windows, uh, default paint does not have what what we call um, transparency to them. That you can't have levels of transparency in paint. Uh, it does not support that. If it's if there's nothing, there's white essentially. And in here, if there's nothing, there's transparency. And these this transparency is indicated by these squares. So these gray and and, and white squares, they're just nothing. They're just you know transparency, I guess. Um, so, reason for this is that, you know, if we want to have cool objects with no backgrounds, cool text, cool fonts, cool logos, you know, whatever, we need this transparent background. And uh, this is sort of the simplest software that I found that you could do with this, and it's a really good software for this kind of thing. So, I um, really, really suggest that you, you, you know, you do edit your skins with the software. Second half, as you can see, your skin might look a little bit different to mine. Uh, mine only has... Uh, one layer to it. It's it's one of the old skins uh, that were made uh, when the second layer wasn't a thing. That does not matter though. You can upload this thing and it will work completely fine. Uh, same with uh, the multi-layered one. Um, only difference I believe is that there is a second layer on top or below. I think it's on top um, that sort of indicate the second layer. So in my case, this is the first layer of the head. This thing here, and this is the second. Therefore, I can only do, you know, uh, transparency on this head bit right here. Uh, but that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, I found the skin, and it, it's perfect. So I, I don't want—I didn't want to use any other skin. Uh, but what I want to do in my case is that I want to—I uh, would just want to. You could draw or anything. Uh, make sure you create a new layer. Uh, anything that you would like to have transparent on your second layer, you just draw on top of where your second layer is, and then uh, make sure it's on a new layer. Uh, so it becomes so we can easily make it transparent. Uh, but in my case, I'm gonna go click on my background, and I'm gonna select uh, the skull thing here, and I'm gonna do Control C. Control C is to copy a selection. You want to make sure you have the the right layer copied. Though, if I have this layer selected, I'm gonna copy air or void or tr AKA transparency. <laughs> um, yeah. So we want to go to our background. Do Control C. Uh, do Control. 
V once we get to our layer 2. Uh, so now we have uh, a little object here uh, that is on layer number 2. Uh, even I would even suggest maybe making a layer for each um, bit of the body actually. Uh, because then you can move it around like this. I mean, if I have two elements, then, uh, you know, if I would move this, I would move both. Uh, so, putting things on layers is very, very helpful. Uh, and also, layers does not have anything to do with the second layer of the skin. It is just a way to keep your, um, you know, all your stuff in, in the program sorted and organized. And you can even name these and, and sort it however you like. Yeah, so I'm going to press enter. This object or these pixels are successfully on layer number two now, as you can see. Uh, you can sort of see it there. Um, so what I'm actually going to do, though, uh, if I were to make this transparent right now, uh, it would make this whole sort of thing transparent. So like this whole square. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to, I'm going to put it behind the background. So now it's kind of you know popping out of this hoodie frame sort of thing, uh, which I think is a very cool effect. Um, I just do this by putting it behind the background like that. Uh, so now we're essentially ready to do the transparency. Uh, so to do transparency in this program, in paint.net, you want to go up to layers. Uh, this is how I know to do it anyway. And then you go to layer properties. And uh, this is kind of the layer property. This is this is where you can rename your layer. Uh, you can you know turn it visible or invisible. You could also do that there. Uh, you could give it some cool mode. Some cool effect, actually a list of effects here that you could use if you wish. Uh, but what we want to focus on is this opacity meter uh, thing, Rooney here. Uh, I'm going to turn this to about 50%. This will, you know, uh, make give this 50% transparency essentially. And um, yeah, uh, I wouldn't suggest putting it down to 40 or you know up to 230 uh, or whatever. I would like keeping it in the middle-ish sort of, uh, because if you do that, it really just makes it you know if you Take it low, looks like it's not even there. Take it high, it looks like it's just solid. So I suggest taking it about 50%. You know, if you're doing some awesome skins, you know, don't follow my suggestions, but that's what I, I tend to do anyway. Um, so once you got your transparency right, you just want to press OK, and you're pretty much good to go at this point. Uh, your skin, uh, at least my skin, is now done uh, and ready to go. So to save it, uh, there are some things that you want to make sure of. And we're going to go to Save As. Uh, so what you want to make sure of is that you save it as a PNG. PNGs are essentially web images. Well, the best format for web and images anyway. Uh, there are many formats uh, for web and for print and for a bunch of stuff. Um, uh, but if you're doing web stuff uh, that you don't need really, really, really high quality, then I suggest using PNG. Uh, and uh, another benefit with PNG is that it has transparent backgrounds. Like not all formats has this. For example, uh, JPEGs, which you, which are pretty pretty commonly used, uh, they do not have transparent backgrounds. So all this white stuff, if it were to save this, it would turn out as white. This does work though if you're like uploading a skin, uh, but of course there would be no transparency. So uh, yeah, we want transparency. So this is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna save Ghostface Seven. <laughs> because this is my seventh attempt at this tutorial. I've had some problems with OBS, alright, don't judge. Uh, we're gonna save it as a PNG. Uh, just wanna out of detect here, really doesn't matter. Uh, here you wanna just click flatten. Uh, this is gonna flatten out your layers, so if you wanna save this project before uh, flattening the layers, I should suggest you do that because these layers are all gonna merge now uh, and will no longer be organized. There we go. So our skin is finished, it has been saved. And uh, we can now upload it. So I'd say upload it and let's have a look at it. <laughs> Alright guys, so if you followed my wonderful steps, you should have something similar to this. Only not at all because you're probably using a different skin. Anyway, this is the end result. You saw it at the beginning of the video. It looks quite, quite sick. It will, you know, you, you see the transparency in my face? You can, you can mess around with it and change the, you know, turn up the, and down the transparency. It will look different, you know. It's pretty cool. Anyway... I really hope you enjoyed the video. I just really quickly wanted to inform you that I am struggling on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing pretty good with videos. My videos, like, I'm getting really good at editing and, and whatnot. I do a lot of montages and, and, and stuff like that. But please do give my channel a shot. I do put a lot, a lot, a lot of effort in my, into my videos. I really favor quality way, 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 way above quantity. And I think that is the key to good videos.
So if you think the same, then please have a look at some of my other videos. There will be two of my videos at the end of this video, <laughs> um, which I would be very appreciated by if you would check out. And then uh, if you like those, then it would be very appreciated if you could subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, but anyway, I hope this tutorial helped you out. Uh, it definitely helped me out. I actually learned transparent skins uh, during this. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, if you have any other Minecraft lesson tutorials, then please make sure to tell me in the comments. I am, I am, I need video ideas, guys. <laughs> I love, I want to, I need original video ideas, and, um, and yeah. Lots of cool stuff coming. I'll see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>